nickname is Nikki, but my name ain't Nicole. Name ain't Nicole. <laughs> my channel my name is nikki first things first excuse my nails i just took off some acrylic nails my cousin did and um yeah i won't be getting them done until after this video so there's that so don't look at my hands i'm just gonna do an eye look okay clearly my face is done Ooh, okay my face is done um so i'm going to do an eye look using these two babies because i did a look i did one look on saturday and everybody liked it that saw it the only problem is I didn't take any pictures, but I used the Jackie yeah, item and these two palettes that I just showed you, obviously. I'm gonna use these two, and so that's what we're gonna do. Um, from the Jackie Ina palette, the shades I'm going to be using are, excuse my palettes because I clearly used them. So I'm gonna be using Ginger, which is this one, um, a little bit of Edges, which is that one. Okay, I'm a point with this. Um, uh, some trust issues and some solid. So that is one, two, three, four, five, four shades. Four shades from there. And maybe a little bit of credit, which is the brown shade. And then here, I'm going to be using Yugo, Sensa, Semsa, sorry. And uh, maybe a little bit of Anastasia and Leo. Maybe, maybe, we'll see. Cause that's what I did on Saturday, but do I really want to create that same look? Because on Saturday, that the look that I did, the lip was different. But I really want to use these two. Uh, they're both from Luna Beauty. We got the darker red is Witch Bitch, and then Dream Sickle, which is this, it's like a bright red, it's real bright. Um, yeah, like that. Mm. This is not from the spell, I mean the spell, the Moon Spell collection. This is from the Strawberry Dream. Hence, Dream Sickle. This is from the Moon Spell, but yeah, I'm going to use them both together. So, I'm also going to be using my Drench Cosmetics Olympia for my inner corner as well as my cheeks. I'm gonna uh, put some Gal. I have blush on already, but because this is like a blush and a highlight, I'm gonna put California on my cheeks. And I have my Eddie Funk Hauser liquid liner. So, got my brushes. I'm ready. Enough talking. Let's get started. And all I did was. <laughs> um, Take off the stuff from this morning and then I redid my bottom brow because clearly we wiped that off. I had to fix that. And I used this concealer from ColourPop, which is their no filter in dark 40. That's what I use when I don't want to look too I don't want to say cakey, but you know how some people when they do their eyes, it's like the concealer is way too bright. And I do that look when I don't want to use a highlight on my brow bone, but I'm gonna use a highlight on my brow bone from one of these palettes. So that's why I use this one because it's almost the same color as my eyelid skin. Um, yay, hyperpigmentation. Anyway, um, I'm going to start with Ginger. Start with the Jackie Eye palette and just go into Ginger and gingerly put that all up in through here. I really like this brush and I'm upset that I didn't buy more than one because they were literally a dollar in Korea. Actually, less than a dollar. <laughs> But, um, yeah, literally, not that expensive, and I only bought one, and I use this all the time. I just really like this brush. And I'm gonna try my hardest to make this look the exact same as it did on Saturday. You know, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. Now I'm going to be taking this Morphe brush. This is the Morphe E15. And I'm going to go into edges. This brush is falling apart. And that's fine. I'm just, I like to press edges into my skin when I use it. Because for some reason, it looks better when I press it instead of when I buff it. If that makes sense. Like if I buff it, it almost looks the same as ginger, on me at least. But when I press it, you see the difference between the two shades, on me. Because if I blend it out too much, then they both kind of just look the same. And we don't want 
love that. There should be, you should be able to see the difference. And then I am gonna use Credit. I thought I wasn't going to, but I am on this lovely Eddie Funkhauser brush. It's just, an, it's literally called an eyeshadow brush. So I'm gonna take Credit a little bit and go like that. Do that on the other side. And it doesn't have to be perfect, and in a second you'll see why. Credit. And then it has some makeup wipes here, so I'm gonna dust credit off. Go into my new boo. And go into you go. Because it doesn't look darker, but just watch this. See, it's much darker. And put that on top. And it's starting to look the same as it did on Saturday, which is, I'm, I'm glad. Because sometimes it's hard to recreate your own looks, especially when the brushes you used were cleaned this morning, so they're still drying, so you can't use them brushes that you used, and you gotta improvise. And I'm gonna take one of those uh, ABH brushes, I don't know which palette this came from, because I got three palettes, so I got three of these, and just blend it all together. On the outside. On the outside. And then I'm gonna take a little more of you go. Excuse the house phone. Telemarketers all day long. All day long. Telemarketer. All friggin' day. It's irritating. It's annoying. Oh. Although, also, this is the other headband that I mentioned in yesterday's video. So, yeah. Um, next is... Z -z 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 -z. I am going to do Anastasia because that's what I did on Saturday. I had to check the picture. I use Anastasia and Solo and trust issues. So we're gonna do that one more again. Uh-huh. Yeah, like I said, the brushes that I used for that look when I cleaned them this morning. So yeah, now I'm taking Anastasia and I'm just gonna put her right there. Which is why I didn't blend anything out yet. It's a really pretty color. Oh, it's on my lashes. Thank God for mascara because, ew. And then I'm gonna take the same brush I blended everything else out with. Once I find it because I lost it. No, I didn't, it's right here. And really lightly, like not too much. And then I'm gonna take, I, what I like to do is blend Soleil and Trust Issues together. I blend them together. Tap in each of them three times. And I'm gonna put that right in the front. One, two, three. I'm gonna take my Eddie Funkhauser liner real quick, real fast. <laughs> and yeah, I did have a ridiculous sized wing. I don't know why I didn't take pictures of this on Saturday. I really don't know why I didn't. Because my niece was like, oh my God, your makeup is so cute. And I'm like, oh my God, this makeup is cute. But I think it's because we were doing a bunch of stuff. And I was all also into, or really into uh, the movie, Sorry to Bother You. So, hold on, I'm thinking about pictures. I was thinking about this look. No, I wasn't. 
I was thinking about the movie. Okay, I gotta do this off camera. I can never do my left eye on camera. Oh, the kid's playing left side. All right. Can never do my left eye on camera, so I'll be back. Um, this one's a little wonky, but shh, don't tell nobody. It's all right. Um, lower lash line, I'm going to go into Sensa first. Oh. Gotta find one of my lower lash line brushes. I got a lot. Too many, actually. And do that color at the front. <laughs> because that's what I did. It's almost a reverse of the first look I did with this palette. I think the blue was in the front. Or the blue was by itself, the yellow. Actually, no, there was no stem cell on the bottom. Stem cells on the lid. The Barbie dreams look I did. And Saturday, these two were on my lower lash line, but Leo was in the front. Gonna switch it up. I'm gonna switch it up. And I'm starting to like dragging it across. Like no matter what color I do, I'm, I'm liking pulling it all the way up. Don't ask me why, but you know, it's what I've been doing. Even when I don't have a liner on, it's just what I've been doing. I swear, the cars outside are loud. The phone is loud. This looks better than it did on Saturday. Don't tell anybody. Minus this thing over here. But we gonna leave it alone. I take the pictures. It's just gonna be the same. Um, inner corner. This is the Drench Cosmetics Olympia. And what I like to do is I like to wet my brush, and I wet my brush in many ways. Today's way is going to be on a makeup wipe, and to have a makeup wipe pack okay and I got one makeup wipe so I literally just hold it for like five seconds and then dip it into here and we've been using her a lot she's great matter of fact I will swatch it swatch what it looks like that is her that is she she's so pretty look at it look at it look at it and then you can blend it out and this is my I, this is my highlighting brush don't judge me um when i highlight my cheeks blah, 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 blah. and then like i'm trying to do it to where there we go that's better and then see it's just a nice little that's what my cheeks look like when i blend this out <laughs> it's snowing uh, take that and 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 tap 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 because yeah and boom BAM and then that's it and first things first I'm going to take California these little minis I like the minis better than buying the big thing this is my second one and then we're gonna boom 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 I mean because there's already blush there but um it softens that up because yeah that was like a that was like a burgundy almost the blush I had on this morning matter of fact it was almost the same color as it but um yeah I like this because it looks less cray cray and then I'm gonna take some of Olympia and literally just because I like to be extra and Saturday I was real extra and then I take a little bit of Olympia I didn't bring my nose brush but I'm gonna cheat. I do have a brush specifically for my nose highlights. And yes, I still highlight my nose, don't judge. <laughs> because I like it. I'm going to do mascara and then I'll come back and do my lips. Which is our kiss. They are from Walgreens, I believe. 
Um, yeah, so there's that. I do have my lip liner. This is in the Bretman Rock ColourPop <laughs> Collection Dukes. So yeah, there's that. Gonna line my lips first. And if my lips look a little white, it's the moisturizer that I just put on it. It acts as like a barrier for matte lipsticks. I got it, a sample of it when I was in Korea and never used it until now. Well, recently. My first time using it was Monday, I believe. And I like it. I don't like the white film that it puts on my lips, but I do that like that. It has that protection, cause you know sometimes, not that Luna Beauty is drying, I just use it with any matte lipstick, cause you never know. But um, I like it. And the first shade I'm going to be taking is the darker red, deeper red, darker red. Which bitch? I don't know if you guys heard that. Oh, my stomach is growling. Because I haven't had lunch yet. I rarely eat lunch on Thursdays. Don't know why. But I do. Uh oh. And I like to make weird faces when I put my lipstick on sometimes because sometimes you miss some spots that you'll never know you missed. So you gotta be here for it. Or maybe that's just me, don't judge. And now, when I say this one is bright, this one is really. I can't wear her without a lip liner. I just. I can't. Not only putting her in the center. And I'm gonna let that dry down and I'll be back with the finish look. I'll do my nails ASAP because this is ugly. Anyway, this is the finished look. I did put Olympia and Trust Issues, that's what this is. Um, I keep it well because, yeah. Um, I don't know if y'all tried these Lunar Booty, Lunar Booty, all right. Lunar Beauty lipsticks, but I love them and they dry matte, but they don't feel matte. That's my favorite part. Because, you know, some of that lipstick, you'd be like this, trying to scrub it off for hours, and then we have time for that. And then your lips are raw, and it hurt. And then you're just like, I don't want to do matte lips. I'm going to be a gloss girl. And then, yeah. Anyway, I had a problem with these. That's why, that's why I love them. Just saying. Also, I got this cute little Deadpool shirt. I've had it for a while. Um, from Walmart. And another work today, my grandma was like, give me that shirt. Grandma, you don't even watch superhero movies. She's like, so? I like the shirt. All right. So I gotta get my grandma one of these shirts now. It says, I'm sorry to offend you. But uh, yeah, it's Deadpool. I've only seen one movie out of the two. Don't judge me. Anyway, <laughs> getting another topic. That's it. That's all for this video and this look. Any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to leave them. I feel like my lashes are coming off. No, they're not. I tweaked. Oh, that's because the hair, the hair is sticking to them. Um, again, I will leave the head uh, the description, uh, the link for the headband in the description box if you want to get this one or another one. You also got handbag clutches, um, do rags if you're into that. You know, all that good stuff is on there. Handmade, handcrafted. So yeah, um, that's it. That's all. I will see you all Friday. <laughs> Bye.